Welcome back students, this is your Chandrasekhar Rutukuri. In this video, I am going to work out for you all the concept of trusses. Uh, the problem related to trusses is one of the gunshot question in the examination for civil, mechanical and aeronautical engineers who are taking the course finite element methods or the finite element analysis. The question is all about the calculate the nodal displacements is the question and the forces if the elemental stiffness of the truss is 10 kilo Newton per millimeter. Elemental stiffness for a truss is given as 10 kilo Newton per millimeter and the truss structure is subjected to load of 1 kilo Newton as shown in the figure it is subjected to load also dear students of 1 kilo Newton let us look at the figure what exactly in the given uh, dimensions are if you look at this this is a, str a truss where one of its end is fixed and here we have x axis along this and this is nothing but the y axis if you look at this this is uh, one of the element of the truss and here we have the another element of the truss which is of triangular in cross section isn't it if you have gone if you haven't gone through the introduction about the trusses and the stiffness matrix and the stresses please go through the videos of 1 2 3 4 which have uploaded in form of 1 2 3 4 for the course finite element method trusses if you look here the length of the element 1 is given 1000 millimeter and the length of the element 2 is also given that is nothing but this is also 1000 kilo 1000 millimeter and the elements if you look here uh, the load is acting here at the point uh, in the diagram they stated that it is pointed at 1 kilo newton here acting downward getting the students and the stiffness is given that is nothing but k that is 10 kilo newton per millimeter when the problem is given like this you are supposed to redraw this as it is in your paper later you are supposed to specify this as the element 1 and this is a node 1 and this is a node 2 similar to that of the concepts of bar you are supposed to work out even this finite element methods of trusses too and this is element 2 is circle is not it this is node 2 and 3 node 2 and 3 and whereas truss has the axial forces two axial forces along the x and along the y uh, that is nothing but f1 x and f2 x f2 f1 y sorry this is f1 y and it has the displacements u1 and v1 similarly f2 x and f2 y are the forces and u2 and v2 are nothing but the displacements at node 3 u3 and u uh, v3 are the displacements and f3 x and f3 y are nothing but the forces this is all about the diagrammatical representation which you need to plot again in your booklet and try to work out this all whereas this all won't be given forces f1 by fn2 only the triangular cross section i mean the bar with certain forces will be given just this may be the question you need to redraw and write down all these things later the given truss is a two bar structure isn't it one and two and where the elements are one and two and with nodes one two three it has how many nodes three nodes so each element has how many nodes two nodes so we have two elements so we have three nodes u1 u2 and so on u3 v3 are the displacements along the global axis x y and the node 1 2 3 respectively where f1 2 f3 y are the nodal forces along the axis x and y at the nodes 1 2 3 respectively hope you are catching my point where i am highlighting please do work out along with me so that you could able to do uh, uh, in a better manner if you are pause this video and work out along with me also given that the k1 and k2 are the elemental stiffness for the element 1 and 2 isn't it k1 and k2 are the elemental stiffness so they are nothing but a1 e1 by l1 a2 e2 by l2 are given they are nothing but 10 kilo newton per millimeter i mean 10 into 10 power 3 newton per mm for both the cases now we are supposed to work out the first and the foremost thing coming to the uh, uh, trusses is it is bit different uh, the similar points will be ca covered throughout uh, even trusses as we have done for the bar but here taking node 1 as the origin the coordinates of various nodes are as follows we are supposed to work out this node 1 as the origin 
first we need to work out the nodal coordinate table whereas we have done the discretization here we have done already discretization dear students here nodal coordinate tables are nothing but nodes along the vertical and the nodal coordinates along the horizontal x and y if you look at this problem we have how many nodes dear students 1 2 3 getting we have how many nodes 1 2 and 3 nodes getting now the nodal coordinates at x at node 1 at node 1 x value is how much 0 and even there is no value of y as it is fixed and it is we are working at point 1 only so it is also 0 and coming to the node 2 the node 2 the distance along the x from the origin 1 is how much dear students 1000 this is given this is 1000 and at y there is no y along this this is only in x so that is nothing but how much dear students that is 0 getting there is no y coordinate here along this is only in along the x now coming to 3 i mean third third node at the third node it is along with the origin so there is no x value for this is already here so the x is how much 0 x value is 0 but y is how much dear students from the origin 1 2 3 that is 1000 this is 1000 this is how we are supposed to work out the nodal coordinate table to work out the complete length of the element which i am going to let you know after working out that we are supposed to work out element connectivity table the element connectivity table is nothing but elements one two we have and the element nodes if you have done the bar problem it is very easy for you from here <coughs> excuse me now element one element one nodes are one two one two and element two nodes are two three element two nodes are two three getting now what is the length of the element the length of the element one is already given in the problem that is nothing but thousand millimeter we can write directly that is l1 and the length of element two length of the element two is nothing but here the length if you look at this this is nothing but the slant length which cannot be directly taken as thousand upon the pythagoras theorem we know that x3 this is nothing but what x3 y3 the nodal coordinates here and the nodal coordinates are here x2 y2 and here it is x1 y1 so we are talking about the element 2 element 2 node coordinates are x2 y2 and x3 y3 upon the pythagoras theorem we know that under root x3 minus x2 whole square plus y3 minus y2 whole square getting so that will be upon calculating 1411 1 millimeter dear students that is nothing but the length of the element 2 i am going to do more problems related to this the complex problems which you are going to uh, work out accordingly as per the instructions given by me in the uh, this uh, order i mean nodal coordinate table element connectivity table later direction cosine table where l is nothing but the cos theta and m is nothing but the sin theta which i have let you know in the uh, stiffness matrix which i have already explained for you now here if you look this direction cosine table the direction cosine table we have parameters such as element and length of the element in millimeter theta and l and m getting element is nothing but what 1 and 2 are the elements l is nothing but what dear students length of the elements that is l1 that is 1000 and l2 is 1411 and 411 now if you look at this how to work out the theta what is theta theta is nothing but the angle uh, the angle measured from the global axis angle measured from the global axis along the x addition of x which i have told you while working out the truss problem while working out the truss problem here isn't it theta is nothing but angle from global plus x axis angle from the global plus x axis to be added to it what exactly it is i am going to let you know here for you if you look at this i have taken into consideration the element one let the element one is of nodes one and two isn't it element one node is one and two so theta equals to how much here at the point one at the point one there is no angle so theta equals to zero plus global axis theta is nothing but what it is measured through global axis plus x axis Ready? so this is nothing but what zero here so theta one equal to zero measured at node one from plus x 